Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation I'm going to test a new uh, wireless headset and uh, the best way to test it is just to have a play with Hangouts on Air. So I'm going to teach um, uh, you know, a little live tutorial here. So um, I've named this tutorial What is Triangulation? So, um, triangulation is a, a, an idea used in surveying and what, what I'm going to do is just explain a little bit of the mathematics behind the ideas in this presentation. Okay, now triangulation is useful to calculate distances when you can't actually measure the, the straight line distance, say, with um, um, regular tools, just by measuring the actual line segment connecting the, the two points of interest. But suppose we have the following information. We know this length, and we know, say, this angle, and this angle, and the length of interest is this distance from here. Let me just make that a right angle. From here to here. Now you might think, well, why can't I just sort of measure the distance, just, just walk along here or, or just measure the line segment there? Well, suppose something's blocking our way, like a, a valley or um, a river or something like that. Okay, but we can move freely over here. Okay, so let this the, the base of this triangle say be uh, have length c, and we can measure these angles. Now let the opposite uh, sides to the known angles be say uh, a and b, and this angle up here because we know that uh, if you add all the angles in a triangle together, you must get uh, pi radians or 180 degrees, then this um, angle in here is just say pi minus the sum of the other two angles where pi radians is 180 degrees. Okay, so how can I get the, this length P? Only by knowing this length, this angle, and this angle. Well, there's two ideas going on here, and the, um, uh, the, the two ideas are the following. Uh, first of all, some basic uh, trigonometry um, involving a right angle triangle, and also the law of sines. Now, both of these uh, are learnt at at high school. Okay, so let's um, uh, show how we can bring those two ideas together. Okay, well, firstly, if you know we have a, a if you look carefully, we have a, a right angle triangle here. So I know the following. So it's from basic trig that. This length and this length can be connected through this angle. Okay. In particular, if we look at the angle beta, what this length and this length, well, we've got opposite and hypotenuse. So we can relate the sine of that angle in the following way. Okay, so opposite over hypotenuse equals the sine of that angle. So I, I have the following. Okay, also the law of sines gives us the following. Now, the law of sines basically just relates angles 
with the uh, sort of corresponding opposite side. Okay, and the law of sine says the following: it says the sine of this ang angle divided by its op the, the length of its opposite side is equal to the sine of this angle divided by the length of its, of its opposite side is equal to this angle divided by the length of its opposite side. Okay, so if I combine those. Okay, so uh, here I'll have the following. Oops. Okay. Now, we want to calculate P and P is A sine beta. Now, we know what beta is, but we don't know what A is. So what we're going to do is use this to actually come up with uh, a, represent a representation for A. How can I do that? Well, if I say move the A up here, this sign down there, and the C up there, I know what C is, I know what alpha is, I know what beta is, so I can actually rearrange it to get something that I, I, uh, is useful. Okay, so. I have the following. Okay, so what now? Well, what I can do is go up to here, replace A with this, which I, I know how to calculate, and then I can get my P. So if we sub into star, we obtain the following. Okay, so replace A with this. And I'll have the following. Okay. Now, this bottom bit can be cleaned up a bit. Because um, sine is a periodic and odd function, I can actually uh, simplify the denominator here. To the following. Okay, so this then is the mathematical um, derivation for triangulation to find this length here, given this length and these two angles. Okay. Okay, well, um, that's the end of my little test. Um, now, I, I guess before I sign off, I should say something about the history of, of triangulation. Triangulation has been used for thousands of years in surveying. And um, it was even used up until, say, the 1980s uh, involving satellites. It's very simple and it's very useful. But here, my, my um, uh, aim in this presentation was to not only give a derivation, but to test the, the new equipment. So now what I'll do is I'll go back and um, watch the presentation and, and uh, review it. If you have any comments or um, suggestions or criticisms on the presentation, let me know because I'm going to use Hangouts on Air a lot more in the future. So your feedback, your comments, your observations are really important. So if you want to, please post a, a comment in the um, comment section below. Thanks again.